Hello everybody, welcome to Project Beauty, where we talk about project panning and everything beauty related. My name is Jen. Um, you're looking at the angle where I have all my project pan stuff and a couple more things of project pan and items that I'm decluttering, items that I'm sort of having as backup. There's a ton of stuff going on in here. There's going to be a few changes, a few eyeshadow palettes are coming out because I've completed my usage goals, but I just haven't done my updates yet. But as you guys know, the month of May was um, all green eyeshadows for me. So I'm just going to get started and share with you the palette that I had for my green eyeshadows. There's a few missing from here and I'll explain why in a moment. But this was the palette that I used. Um, <laughs> unfortunately, I didn't get nearly as much use as I wanted because I got sick for half of May. So unfortunately, I wasn't able to use a lot of these eyeshadows. And there's so many beautiful, beautiful eyeshadows in here that I think I'm actually going to keep this how this looks currently. Um, and I'm going to keep it in my rotation for the month of June. I might even keep it in a little bit longer just because there are some shadows in here that I haven't even tried yet. And ones that I just, I think they're just so beautiful. When I look at this palette, I think, oh my God, there's so many beautiful shades. Um, I put some neutrals and some like pops of gold and stuff for like inner corner highlight or brow bone highlight stuff like that and I haven't even really been able to play with this so I'm going to keep this in for a while <clears throat> my throat's very dry <coughs> I apologize and I don't have a drink or anything around me so please bear with me for that so what I wanted to share with you guys is that for the month of June as you guys may know, it's Pride Month, and I'm a full supporter of the LGBTQ plus community. Um, love is love, and I'm just so happy to support. I'm happy to have people in my life in that community that can share with me their experiences uh, and just be proud of who they are when they're with me. They don't have to be somebody they're not. And I want to make sure that I do my due diligence, even if it's just using my makeup for the month a little bit. Um, obviously, I'm going to do a lot more than just wear makeup, but I want to make sure that I'm outwardly expressing that I am a full supporter. So I'm going to share with you guys a bunch of palettes that I've pulled, as you can see a little stack here in front of me. But I'm going to show you guys what I've pulled. So we'll start with the stack here. Um, <laughs> I've tried to clean up some space. I don't know that I'm going to have enough space in my, like, you know, little storage area here, but I will most definitely try to make this work. So the first thing I have is my Violet Voss Bright Vibes. Now I've got a lot of product use on this in the last little while because I've had one or two items, excuse me, in previous projects. As you can see, this is legit a rainbow palette. It's absolutely beautiful. There's so many beautiful colors. I really enjoy this palette. It isn't exactly the most pigmented, but for the theme and the color story, I really enjoy it. Um, so I have hit pan on two shades. This one I actually combined with another shade to Franken because I always wanted to try Frankening. I'm not a huge fan of Frankening and I probably won't use the palette or the shadow that I frankened but at least I did hit pan before I pulled a lot of product as you can see the pan is quite large and there's a huge chunk taken out so my pan was probably just a tiny bit smaller than this one before I like took all that stuff out but um I'm not the type to normally try to do this I like to use my pans across as even as possible <clears throat> oh my goodness so sorry. Um, I'm still getting over my cold. But yeah, I um, I want to get use of this because I love the fact that there is an actual like vibrant bright red. Like these are like neon-y type shades. And I love that there's bright vibrant shades from red, orange, yellow, greens, blues, and purples. It's legit, legit a rainbow palette. And they have a pink, which is fantastic. So obviously I'm going to bring this in and I'm also going to take this off. Look at that. Who the hell is she? I never take those off. So you guys know, <laughs> if you've seen my channel before, you know I don't take the the mirror protectors off. So that's huge for me. Um, all right. So that is palette number one. The next palette I'm bringing in is um, the Nikki. It's, it says Pressed Pigment Palette from 
uh, Nikki Tutorials and Beauty Bay. And I can't remember what this was called, but there's like a light side or a vibrant fun side and like a darker side. And I'm just going to share with you guys the whole thing because as you can see inside here, let's take this off. This is a full on rainbow palette. <clears throat> so this is so awkward. Ugh. Super, super awkward to try and here. I'll just do it like this. Okay. So we have blue. We have green. Do we have green? Kind of. This kind of green, it's more like mint. So there's um, a reddish shade in the center here. This is really awkward to hold and talk about. Um, but there is a red, an orange, a yellow, a green, a blue, and a purple-ish. So <clears throat> it's not like true colors, obviously, like true primary or secondary or tertiary colors, whatever. But um, these are like different hues and tones of those shades and I think it would be really fun to have this included. Also there's a lot of shimmery shades in here and these pan sizes are freaking massive like massive but that green shade called Ew I'm all about it and I cannot wait to try it out. Sorry I'm not in frame like exact but it's so awkward to hold up like this but anyhow really excited to try that I've never tried this formula yet and I'm just excited to actually have the opportunity to play with it <clears throat> and then of course I have to bring in my love with love or live with love part of me from Morphe um this is I think last year or two years ago's Pride palette. They come out with one every year. And I wanted the one from a couple years ago, but of course I, I missed out on that one. And it's got a nice huge mirror in here. I'm going to turn this upside down. It'll just be a lot easier for me to hold it. But this is what the inside of the palette looks like. And what I like about this is that it kind of reminds me of the, <clears throat> um, what was that palette called? It was the ColourPop and um, I'm having a total brain fart right now. It was like that mushroom garden one and I can't remember the YouTuber's name. Why am I having the biggest brain fart? I literally just watched her video yesterday. Oh my gosh, she's blonde. Um, she just had a kid. Anyways, you guys know what I'm talking about. Link it down below if you guys know what I'm talking about because right now I'm having a total brain fart and like in five minutes I'm probably going to remember what I was meaning. But it reminds me of like with the deeper kind of fall-ish colors, it reminds me of that palette but like on this side a little bit more brightened up and so I love that it has every shade in the rainbow in this palette plus there's a lot of um, shimmery shades there's some really uh, deep deep shades but this one has like that glitter it's like a matte shade with glitter in it and the glitter of course like never shows up in these shadows especially when you blend it just falls right out so unless you're pressing this on like a glitter base it's not going to show it's just going to look dark so I don't know why they didn't just put a black in there um, but <laughs> I think it'll be really fun to play with. Um, I'm, I'm looking at these, like I have inspiration already. Is it going to be super bright and bold and vibrant? Like I'm kind of shooting for probably not, but I'm not going to count it out yet. Just because it's a little bit on the deeper side does not mean the shadows are not going to look amazing. I love a little bit of a jewel toned rainbow. Anyhow, jewel toned colors are so beautiful and I feel like this would be just such a nice color story. So I'm going to play around with this and see what I think. Um, it's just a little bit deeper but it might be nice to have these shades even as outer corner shades, inner corner shades because if there's some bright ones. Um, yeah, I'm really excited to play with this one and I'm happy that I at least got my hands on one of these Live With Love palettes or one of these um, Pride palettes from Morphe. I hope proceeds go to LGBTQ plus community, um, any kind of uh, fundraising and, and donation places that they have because to just make a palette like this uh, for that community and not be able to donate anything I'd be a little bit pissed so hopefully they donate um, because that's you know that's just a money grab otherwise <clears throat> and then we have glam light ice cream dream this is literally like one of my top favorite palettes in my collection if not my very favorite palette in my collection and the reason being is that it's a pastel lover's dream it's got a huge mirror it's absolutely gorgeous I love the whole color story in this thing it has the mint shades that I am craving this year it even has the like corally kind of shades that I was craving last year 
and this beautiful vibrant corally shade oh my god like this palette is so gorgeous I actually want to buy a backup it's like the most beautiful palette I think out of any of my palettes I love it so much and the way that it performs ridiculously awesome um so I'm going to definitely use this as um, blending shades. I'm going to do full on rainbow looks using this because there's pretty much without an actual red base, I'd have to use like black cherry as the red, but literally pretty much every single shade except for that red tone for um, a rainbow palette in here. So this is so gorgeous. If you don't have this palette, I'm telling you, you are missing out. You need to grab it. Please go buy this. It is so good. You will not regret it. It is so good. So that is another one I'm bringing in. And then, of course, I can't not bring in the cake palette from Glamlight. You guys, this is like literally, again, jewel tone, beautiful, gorgeous shades. Um, and when I say jewel tone, they're more vibrant than what the Morphe one looks like. This is just a little step up, a little brighter on the hue level. Plus, it's got a bit of a punch. So when you look at the key lime shade, it's quite a bit brighter Peach is quite a bit brighter. Pineapple is quite a bit brighter. So when I look at these, the shades are a little bit deeper, but they're more true to rainbow shades than what the Morphe palette is. And I am so freaking pumped to smear these on my face. I, I'm just so excited. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so pumped. I hope you guys do rainbow looks this month too. I know we can't wear them to work probably, um, depending on where you work. Of course, I know I can't, but... All I'm going to say is uh, every time that I cannot and I'm doing an eye look, I am so excited to try Rainbow. Now, I also brought in this MAC palette and I could not not put a MAC palette in and I'm telling you why. MAC supports LGBTQ plus community full, 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 full and always have. They've always donated. They also have the, um, now I'm going to have brain farts again probably, but it's the uh, Viva Glam is it Viva Glam? I want to say Viva Glam. I have a lipstick here. Where is it? Yeah, it's. I think it's Viva Glam. And <clears throat> every single proceed of those lipsticks go to uh, aid support. So 100% support that. They don't allow you to get a free lipstick from Viva Glam because the purchase is fully, all the monies fully go into that. Um, they are full supporter of LGBTQ plus community. So when they came out with this art library palette in its designer, I could not pass it up. So <clears throat> this is what the inside looks like. It's like, so I'm going to say this is like red orange. Okay. So more like an orangey red version. So red orange is going to have to be one color, yellow, green, green, sorry, blue and purple. Um, beautiful, ridiculously beautiful palette. And it's not even crazy. You know what I mean? Like it's not like in your face bold there's still some neutrals you can this is you can make this very wearable i am obsessed now this shade right here keep this one in mind this is the shade um what is this one chrome yellow and i actually have this in a single i actually have this in a single i think i have a few of these in a single i have carbon as well um, it doesn't really matter. Anyhow, I have a few of these in singles as well. Um, but I support MAC a lot because they are very supportive of a lot of communities and a lot of people and a lot of artists. And I'm just obsessed. I love MAC so much. I, my full regret is not ever being able to have worked for the company. And the fact that even if I applied, they didn't want me. It's so sad. It makes me so sad. It breaks my heart, literally. Um, but yeah, th that's a whole other conversation. Um, all I'm saying is I could not pass this palette up. I think it's really beautiful and it's a very, you can make this incredibly wearable for me. Everything is wearable, <laughs> but at the same time, if you're working in an environment that you need to be more professional and, um, a lot of boldness is not allowed, this probably would be a little too much. If you're doing it tastefully, it would be fine, right? If you're blending it nicely, um, blending it out so that it's a very soft shade, it wouldn't be so bad. Uh, but you can definitely make this incredibly wearable. So highly recommend this palette. If you don't have it. I love it so much. The pigmentation is real. Keep that chrome yellow in mind because I will talk to you guys about that shortly, but this palette is so gorgeous. Then I have this palette right here. I'm not even going to say the name. You can read it yourself, but it's a Morphe palette and um, not a collab I am very pleased with. I don't follow this person. I've never watched this person's channel. Um, I support his right to love whoever he wants. 
Uh, I don't support a lot of the things that he does. And um, as a parent, I cringe and it pisses me off. So I do not support this person whatsoever. I cannot blame until there's, you know, proof. <laughs> But there's stuff out there. Anyhow, you guys go do your research, whatever you want to do. I just don't support that person. Now, that being said, <clears throat> I want to try and get as much use as I can out of this palette to see if it's something that I really need in my collection. It has all the names on the sheets. So, of course, I had to tape it to the top so that I knew the names if I really cared. Um, and then the palette is the 39 pan palette. It's massive. There's also a mini version of this. I'm not going to tell you to go out and buy this if you can find it anywhere. Absolutely not. When there's this many, I say go to Glamlight if you want anything rainbow. Um, or that MAC one. Fantastic. Just I, I don't support this person. So I'm not going to tell you to go run out and buy this. Um, <clears throat> the reason I have this is I didn't know who this person was and I saw one person using it and I thought the color story was amazing and I needed this rainbow palette in my life. So I went out and grabbed it. And then literally like a month later, there was so much controversy. Uh, there's probably controversy way before, but I didn't know anything much about that because I had not been following any of that stuff. And I hadn't been watching a whole lot of YouTube at that time. So I came into this not knowing and I have barely used it since because I'm just disgusted. So what I'm going to do, and this is a little bit of a spoiler, is I've taken out my pen that palette size matters for the year. I've only removed a, the odd shade or two, which I'll show you guys in an upcoming update. But this will be the palette replacing it for the remainder of 2022. Once I'm done with 2022 and this eyeshadow palette and I see how I feel about the shades, um, how they apply, if I if I like it, I'm going to decide at that point at the end of the year if I want to keep this in my collection or if I don't. Because it's not something that I'm going to want to really use on my channel. And I'm not going to be like that person that's like, oh, it's limited edition or it's this and that. I'm not going to keep it because, you know, my YouTube channel, blah, blah, blah. That's not the type of person I am. If I've spent my money on it. I'm going to use it if I really want to use it. I'm not just going to declutter it for the fun of decluttering it or whatever. I don't have the money to just throw around like that. And I don't get free products from brands, unfortunately. I would love that, but um, that's just the way it is. I just don't, I don't have a big enough channel. I don't get support from brands like that. So um, I put my money out and I work very hard for my money and I appreciate everything I spend my money on. Um... So I would probably just cover up the front of it and then use it on my own time and or put it in a project and just, you know, not talk about the person because everybody knows what's going on. So all of that aside, <clears throat> all of that crap put aside, um, there's a lot of beautiful colors going on in here. And of course, there's rainbow shades. Uh, that person is a part of the LGBTQ plus community, which is a fantastic community and I want to use these as much as I can to see what I think because I haven't given it a fair chance, honestly. And um, it was just really hard for me, a struggle as a mom, um, really a hard struggle. And other people in the LGBTQ plus community, I have family and friends in that community. And to know that, you know, when you hear one person going through those things, sometimes, unfortunately, the whole community gets a bad rap. And I don't think that's fair at all. Um, and so it hurts my heart and I, I just want to use this because I've put money out and, um, I want to do my rainbow shades and I want to do that community justice. I want to support and I want to rock the rainbow. So that's what we're going to focus on now. I've said my spiel. I've talked too long about it already. Blah, blah, blah. I'm so sorry, <laughs> but I'm going to use this for the remainder of the year. So watch for my next update. I will explain a lot more about my previous palette, why I decided to switch that out. And of course, I'll explain again why I'm using this one, even though I just told you guys. So uh, I will be throwing this in uh, for the remainder of the year and of course for the month of June. Just a few more palettes to go through. Um, the last one of the, or the last two of the pre-made palettes are from Glamlight again. You guys know these are like Glamlight has the most colorful palettes. The first one is the paint palette. This is the paint pro palette. Um, super awkward packaging, awkward AF. I wish I could declutter or not declutter, but depot. Um, 
but I'm not going to do that because I kind of, I kind of like the packaging. Honestly, it's just super big. If they were both like this size, that would be great. But this one is so freaking massive, but the colors in here, they are so beautiful. And I love that there is all the colors of the rainbow. Then you have your neutral shade, your deepening shade, a reflective shade. You have a white, you have a gold. Like it's, It gives you a lot of different options. And there's also some shimmer products in here. So I'm pumped to use this. Um, did they need the two purples? Probably not. They probably could have thrown like a shimmery coral or a shimmery orange or a shimmery pink or something like that in there instead of using sapphire and violet right next to each other. But obviously they're going for like strict names and like color colors. So yeah, I'm sure that's the whole idea by it. But um, definitely going to use this. Cannot wait. Love these palettes so much. And the last little one, of course, here that's pre-made is the Paint Pro 2. And again, there's the shades, but they're a hint lighter. So a little bit lighter on the, the tint palette or the, the hue range. And what I like about this one is that there's a nice deep crimson red. I love the fact that there's a crimson red because in the other one, there's like a straight up red, but I love crimson red. It's so beautiful, like a little bit more blue toned, really beautiful. I love that there is a coral red. Obviously, it's like pink, but it's like a coral, coral pink. Um, and then this cadmium yellow. Hello. That is, you guys, so beautiful. Like, so beautiful and let's do this um titanium white here it's a little bit leaking that doesn't bother me whatsoever but oh my god like you kidding me so great i can't wait to use these so loving this and i just noticed that there was this turquoise and this viridian green in here so pretty okay I'm getting very pumped. Um, now this is my last palette. I showed you guys already the green palette that I had for the month of May, but this one is a little rainbow palette that I created and I know this video is lengthy, so I appreciate you guys if you're still here, but I went ahead and created a rainbow palette of all my singles. Um, now what you'll notice is there's not very much green in here and that's because most of that is all in another palette. So what I would have done is done, of course, red, orange, yellow, green, blues, and purples. Well, what I did was I loaded it up with reds, I loaded it up with purples, and I did quite a bit of blues. I'm not going to lie. There's, I have quite a bit of blue eyeshadow. You guys know I don't wear blue eyeshadow. So this is the month where that's going to happen. I do have one more palette I want to crack out and that was the um, ColourPop uh something hue palette I can't remember um fade into hue anyway I was gonna bring that in but I feel like I would have more fun using these other palettes first and then if I feel like I've gotten my use on one of the other ones I might switch it out as I go so I'll let you guys know maybe um throughout the month maybe on Instagram if you want to check me out there uh it's Zyzo Beauty x-a-i-x-o-b-e-a-u-t-y Anyhow, um, so these are the colors that I decided to select. You can see there are um, Give Me Glow, JD Glow, Adept. There's a whole row of MAC. All these ones in this section are all MAC. You guys know MAC has like a lot of selection. Uh, there's some Terra Moon, some Shine by SD. Um, I think this is Makeup Geek. So there's like a whole bunch of brands in this little palette here. And I'm so excited because I have some primary colors, I have some deepened colors, I have some neon colors, some um, multi-chrome colors, shimmery colors. This palette has pretty much everything except for of course my greens because they're all in another palette. But isn't this so appealing to the eye? I kind of wish I had an even bigger palette and I just did a whole bunch like this just even bigger. Um, but I'm really proud of this. I think this is beautiful and I can't wait to put this on my face. I'm just like staring at this shade right here. How freaking gorgeous all these reds. Oh, if you know me, you know that red is one of my favorite colors and I'm obsessed and I want to put it all over my eyes. Also this like corally neon shade from Terra Moons. What is this called? Cosmic Blaze. Holy shit. It is beautiful. Um, and also this one right here, I want to give a shout out to Shine by SD. This one is in the shade. Oh no, this is sorry. JD Glow. Oh, this is JD Glow. No way. I thought this was Shine by SD. Had the same kind of packaging. So this is called No Way and it's by JD Glow. You guys, I thought this was Shine by SD. Look at this shade right here. Look at that. Is that not absolutely gorgeous? Like that has purples, greens, golds, 
You know I'm about to throw that on my eyes. It is so exciting. Ugh. Like, just, ugh. It's ridiculous. <laughs> okay, I'm excited. All right, so that's everything. I'm so sorry I'm not on screen, but I look like a piece of crap today. And <laughs> I just wanted to get this done. So I'm going to go ahead and sort of fiddle around putting everything away. Um, but I will talk to you guys at the end of the month and let you guys know what I thought. Uh, if I can put any looks together, if I remember to, I will try and do that as well in a video. Uh, let me know down below if you'd like to see all the looks I created or if you just prefer to check out my Instagram, you can do that as well. Um, I'll try to have that link down below if I remember. I'm so bad at that. It takes me sometimes super long because I literally have no time. But I will let you guys go. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you again in the next one. Bye.